region of uh, that uh, in jail. So, uh, to, to, in order to show that there's a message from ventral ray, we apply uh, some chewing gum onto the tank, and we observe that uh, there was a message transferred by nerve number nine and seven uh, to a, uh, a nucleus of a solid tract. Uh, that has sent a message to mesolimic area and also uh, acamas nucleus, which are involved in the regulation of the behavior. Uh, secondly, what we did, we sectioned these two nerves and we found there was no firing uh, on the neurons, neither in NSD nor in the other part of the brain. At the same time, we observed there was no secretion of psychiatric juices. So we can say, that the message is transferred from the tongue to the brain via nerve number 9 and 7, and this is uh, an activation in the different areas of the brain that is responsible for the anticipatory mechanisms. We further show that uh, NST sends a message to different parts, and finally, uh, the gustatory message arrives in the acapas nucleus, which directly communicates <coughs> to parental pregnancy area involved in activation. We can discuss about that. That is not the problem that we are dealing with uh, in the laboratory. And what, whether it is a prediction for fat, it is a taste of sugar. But whatever it is, it is a taste. It is because before addiction, we must prefer a solution. We must like it. And this happens in uh, uh, human beings. I will contribute. Now, uh, we, uh, I don't have time to tell all the mechanisms that we uh, uh, decipher uh, from the opening of our eye channels. Uh, or I1, or I3, and the spatium was responsible for the release of uh, neurotransmitters, that is serotonin, that was indeed uh, uh, sending a message towards the brain. Now, by the time we were publishing this work, there was a paper from Nestle, and they say uh, this is not stage 36, it is other GPI 120 that is responsible for fat taste. It was very intriguing and sometimes hurting. <coughs> Uh, because our uh, scientific uh, integrity is somehow was questioned, and it's not research advanced like that. So we got DPR 120 of our mice uh, from Japan, uh, from uh, uh, from Kyoto, and we conducted experiments, and we demonstrated that DPR 120 is not involved in the detection. The people was refused. We did other experiments and uh, we used SIR in technology, all the methods are available. And we showed that indeed GPI 120 is not involved in the detection, rather in the regulation of it. So our theory was correct and confirmed by several researchers that series 6 is involved in the detection. In this work, we demonstrated that early in the morning, when we go for the breakfast, we take a uh, breath with butter. We say, mm, is it delicious? This is a delicious. And within minutes, we have demonstrated in human beings, and that's my journals, I'll show the experiment, that it goes down. So it is is in a liquid draft. As a man, fat is in contact with the six, it leaves the rafts, and deeper 140 comes up uh, into the raft to uh, uh, increase IG behavior. When I ask you, uh, you need another bread? If you want. I don't want. You want. This is GPI-120. So these two proteins are playing complementary roles, not opposite roles, to regulate eating behavior. So, uh, now, we should come to the obesity. What happens? And you know very well that every day has one person, every single We have more than 800 uh, people in the world uh, who are clinically obese. They need a surgical or medical treatment. And that's a burning point. I made it very confident because I'm touching it. My family can be probably not be allowed to have obese. So, the men, in fact, are obese. Whatever it is, it is in front of us. And we should take this problem seriously. And we know that uh, it's inside. That, uh, uh, that uh, obesity is responsible for a number of 
institutions, it's not really just a good uh, But we were looking for a model on obesity. So we had a project, as I said, we collaborated with different uh, uh, African countries. So it, this work was uh, uh, through a bilateral collaboration with Algeria. And in the desert, uh, there is an animal called sand rat. Some of its species. This animal never drinks water because there's no water. This animal comes out of its hole every day early in the morning, takes the leaves of this plant, take them back to the hole, eats and sleeps. So his life is eating and sleeping, eating and sleeping. Very uh, beautiful life. <laughs> no work, no office time, nothing. Just come out at this around five, five thirty and five. Every day, it goes. We had it. Uh, had the same life to come to capture this animal. And if this animal is taken to the lab, first we have to accustom the animal to drinking water. And animal becomes obese. And then it develops start to die. But that is the only model that gives us information on the transition of a normal life to obese one and then to the average one. So, uh, we do this animal and you see here, uh, if give this animal a, uh, a, a, a filler with 0-2% fat, it brings and brings to 3 days so much the animal dies. And when you see here, the 336 goes down in the tank uh, of this animal when it develops to the city. There's no modification in the factors. Calcium signal is also changed. So, in this animal, we got two conclusions. That 336 is evolutionarily conserved as a fat taste candidate. An animal that never drank water, doesn't know what is fat, loves fat. And there is a decrease in uh, its expression during the season. Now, what happens in human beings? We conducted a number of studies on obese children, obese adults, and obese adolescents, and controls. In different countries like Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, and Senegal, of course in France and Czech Republic. Because an obese in Algeria is different from an obese in France. We don't have the same meeting pattern. Now, my, my postdoc has published a paper on Indian obese subjects who are vegetarians. They don't eat meat, it's still their obese. So, eating beer is different. Do we have the same expression of 3 liter 6? These animals are in these subjects. So, we did a very simple experiment. We uh, offered them three glasses of water. And uh, we asked them to taste one by one. And asked, uh, do you detect something? No. Increase the concentration of the in one of the people. They don't know if it's not good bad. And again, ask them like, point tasting. Same thing is there. Do you detect something? Yeah, yeah, we detect it. So this allows us to determine the threshold for fat detection. And we observe that the oral detection capacity for was decreased in obese subjects, and this decrease was proportionally related to the degree of obesity and eating behavior. Again, this proportional, which is inversely correlated, was very striking. Means we thought central is going down as it was the case in general. Uh, and we need sleep, sleeping in nickel, nickel, that boy of bees, and say there are in these subjects. And we also study uh, uh, hyperventilation of say there are six. And we found that there was an association between decreased fat taste sensitivity and say there are six hyperventilation or uh, a genetic polymorphies. Very particular So, uh, then we thought these are good results, but what we do uh, in the daily life, in the daily life when we buy chips, 
if you buy cheap supplies with a slogan, no fat. It is false. They have added either trans fat or fat that is completely uh, uh, changed in its structure. For example, fat substitutes are the uh, 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 six to eight uh, fatty acid carbon chain or saturated fatty acids, but these uh, substances bring calories from zero to six kilograms. They say, they don't say zero calorie, they say no fat. So we have fat derived substances. Or sometimes we use uh, in these uh, preparations lipid neurotics. They also bring calories. So these are the preparations are low calories, low tasty. So the uh, uh, companies, they add some fragrance to affect your taste, uh, fatty taste, and you buy twice uh, in place of buying one. So it's more dangerous. We thought, uh, let's come to, to this point. Low calories, but high taste. So let's come to the conclusion of our work. We observed that C36 uh, and D carbon to the are evolved to send a message away, when communicate with the sign. That releases some amorex peptides that exert uh, an effect on the brain and stops. Uh, uh, eating food, uh, food, I mean, give the sensation of fullness. You know, these objects, we observe that silicosis uh, degrees means high energy uh, because of low transmission of gastric messy associated with low communication with the sun, low anorectal diabetes, and uh, low satiety means energies will keep going more. So, we thought. Perhaps uh, we can have another uh, uh, solution to the problem. Uh, uh, in this case, I thought uh, we can synthesize some molecules that can bring high taste like fat, but no calorie. I tell you, my lab nobody believed in Even my friends, they used to knock at me just behind. And I said, well, let's go. I discovered the chemistry. But if it happens for sugar and sweeteners, why not for fat? Then we, we had a project. And then uh, I had a collaboration with uh, John Urban. Uh, he synthesized a molecule, uh, John Urban, what? Well, he is a fat, fat in animal. That in animal is a deeper one for the agonist and axial and fluid We demonstrated that fat in animal binds to these first trigger the release of uh, 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 these unreactive times. You can say the hydrogen is correct. That encouraged me, and then we synthesized a number of fat taste modulators. And I'm showing that only two and there's three that bind to CETA6, and that's why that binds to both CETA6 and And you see the depolarization of FRML is very high by and gas in the spy, as compared to those triggered by linearic acid and folic acid. When we see about the high secretion, that is also very high by our substances, as compared to that triggered by linearic acid in hatched and so down. And uh, these molecules exert you know, endocrine perturbator, no proxy, no therapy, no therapy factor. So I, I have five minutes to go to the uh, hundreds, isn't it? Yeah, okay, two, two is left. And I told you, the last speaker is at the front. <laughs> but let me finish my story. Yes. Yeah, that just, uh, I'd like to show you two slides. This, uh, this is very important because uh, when the scientists use an anti obesity substance, what they do, they feed the animals at first with anti obesity molecule, then start using obesity. No, it is not the case. Today I'm overweight, I'm getting obese, now I will think what should I take. So I should meet in the same way. So we give a half a time. And after 10 weeks, the animals are getting obese, we give them uh, and test C and test 5, there was decrease in body weight associated with. Uh, uh, 
during take of high tide flow and uh, safe was observed about the after evolution of serial uh, 36 in time of case one itself. So uh, it's about uh, modulation with macro data. I don't have time, but uh, let me come to uh, this point about the plants. Now we are working on plants, uh, collaborating with African countries, and we also uh, show you that ZZ field, which is uh, ZZ plus Bluetooth, uh, also exerts as fat based modulator. And uh, this molecule, uh, you see, has a homology with five star. So we demonstrated for the first time that in this particular, we have five star receptors and ZZ feed is binding uh, to this receptor. The same thing is about uh, oleanolic acid that has as a uh, very close uh, homology to oleanolic acid and this exerts an anti-oleanolic effect by binding to the table or something. Yeah. The last slide will be uh, here on the way of this is my concept and I don't trust it. What, what I think that uh, in the future, rather taking uh, some anti-obesity rest or drink some dieting, what we can do, we can have this kind of spray put in the pocket before lunch. I go to the father and ask him the pretext. I saturate my taste buds, come out, and say, yeah, food is delicious, but I will be uh, in the fullness. For example, in front of my kitchen, I prepare second, second, very delicious food, saturated friendly I love it. But I cannot see, I cannot eat it because I'm getting obese. No. If I activate my pancreas receptors, I will appreciate Saka Saka and I see you know, my food is fine. So nobody is heard about that. So we have now uh, conducted an expert. Uh, Clinical study in S3 and S5 in NAM, and we are in phase two. We have founded uh, a startup, I won't give that name of the startup because it's not my job. And uh, we are in the phase three clinical trial in a list of drugs to activate these receptors and trigger uh, uh, obesity and physiology. Um, it's just we don't want to be between us and people eating it. But after they eat. Well, when we eat, I have been only two persons. They can ask a question, but just about two years. So after, after they eat it, if there's any person that they haven't approached you personally over lunch, then we'll be having the next um, uh, panel of questions. Yeah. But in the meantime, uh, one more round of applause for more. We're going into the frontiers of the future, yeah? yeah. Mending technologies and the startups, and now we can go. So the future is bright. Um, we are breaking for lunch at the moment. We'll come back for our two.